You you mentioned um, in our emails back and forth that you've encountered things. So I know you've encountered the uh, the UFO, but there's a video where you're going into your attic and you're looking for something because something's uh, yeah, happened. There was, yeah, I had an alien home invasion at my house here in Ranger, Texas. Yeah, that's pretty wild. That was a that's another chapter of the story, man. Did you see anything? And, uh, or you, did you just hear noises and assume that it's alien or? Oh, no. I, I saw them up close and personal. I saw this thing from about probably 10 feet away. And then they got up underneath my bed and was shaking it while they had me paralyzed on it. And uh, they were lifting the whole bed up and slamming it back to the floor. And I was paralyzed on the bed. <laughs> was it, so, and, uh, so this is when you were in bed. This happened. Yeah, I had just I had just laid in bed, and in fact, I hadn't even closed my eyes yet. It was like they were waiting on me to go in there and lay down, and then they hit me. And and it was really weird because you couldn't feel anything holding you in bed, but as soon as you tried to move, it was like uh like there was a six hundred pound gorilla sitting on your chest, you know. And, and I could kind I could, I could look around with my eyes. I could move my head a little bit from side to side. I could see my cat running around in the house avoiding the aliens and he jumped up in bed with me i could see all this and i could see the aliens running around in my living room and i, I seen one run across a vertical wall and and i was hoping it was squirrels or raccoons or something like that and then when i seen one run across a vertical wall I, it, and the night before we had seen a ufo and shot a shot a laser light at it <laughs> so i, right, I think yeah. maybe retaliation or something for shooting at their UFO or something, I don't know. They were checking it. But actually, I kind of think they were checking the laser out. Once once they got to where the laser was being kept, the uh, the invasion stopped, and they left. When you say so invasion, they, did you did you feel invaded? Did you feel, or did you feel under threat, or did you? Every, every cabinet and every drawer in my whole house was wide open uh, when they finally released me from the bed. And uh, they had broken, there, there's some dishes and stuff they had knocked over. They had knocked over a lamp at the computer desk and broke it. And uh, like I said, they had just like, uh, they were definitely searching for something. Because okay. I was, I was going to ask you, and don't take this the wrong way, if you may have been dreaming, but if you woke up and all the drawers were open, um, did, did the little bastards steal anything? <laughs> did they steal no. anything? No, they're... You know, it wasn't like I was, I had ever went to sleep. I had just laid in bed and then they, they were, it's like they were waiting on me to lay down. And, they, and once I got in that bed, they froze me in it. Uh, I don't know. I think they, they use, they use something that separates uh, your ability to send signals from your brain to your muscles. And uh, because uh, I could think, I could think and I could formulate thought. And I, I decided at one point I was going to break free from this force and go kill these little bastards. And, uh, and there was a golf club in the corner and I was going to grab it and I was going to go to town on these guys. And I, when I tried to break free this time, I fought it so hard that it, it felt like I almost had a heart attack. It, it, I mean, it, it hurt my breathing. It hurt my heart. My chest felt like it was about to blow up. And, and I just laid back in bed and I thought I'm completely screwed. They're going to do whatever they want to. Nothing. My body did nothing when I tried to move. Did anybody then, else experience this in the house? Yeah, this was this was right here in the house the night after we had shot a laser at the UFO. Yeah, did anybody and, else uh, experience the, the 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 not being able to move in the house? Was anybody else in the house? No, nah, at that at that time I was living here by myself and I had a cat here at the house and I and I noticed that he was on the bed running around like it wasn't affecting him at all. <clears throat> I couldn't move for nothing, but he was up there beside me on the bed moving around like he wasn't affected at all. So it, it was, you know, that was kind of mysterious. Was. But they came in there and started shaking the bed. He took off out of the room running for his life. And I didn't see anything chasing him. So, but I was just stuck in there and they were up underneath my bed and, and I could hear clawing on the mattress. And they tore through my box springs. You could see scratch marks under the box springs. There's a piece of wires, wire in there that goes over the box spring. You can see where they had grabbed it and pulled on it so hard that they had bent the wire. 
Like they were trying to get through me through the bottom of the mattress uh, for some reason, man. And it was, like I said, they were bouncing that whole bed up and down with me on it. And I'm a big guy, man. I, at that time, I probably weighed 280. And uh, they were bouncing me, the bed, and everything up. And these little things weren't about 18 inches tall. And they were like a, they had a face like an old man, and they had a body more like a, had an exoskeleton on it, like an insect. Uh, and it had thorns on the, on the, on the exo, it was almost like a ar- body armor on a, on a human looking thing. So it looked and like even a, the body armor had like thorns on it. So it looked like an old man with an insect body. Yeah. And it, and it had, it had an exoskeleton on it. It had thorns on, like on a body armor that even covered his, the top part of his head. And, and his eyes, he didn't have his eyes, his eyes were squinted. Like the little bit of light I had in my house was bright on him. Like he would have been better off like in total darkness, it seemed like. It seemed like what little light there was was almost hurting his eyes. And there was three of them all together. And I noticed he he ran on all fours and he stood up on two back legs. And his front arms were so long they almost still reached all the way to the floor. And uh, and they looked almost like some sort of insect arms. But he definitely had a humanoid looking face. Did um, so were there all the drawers in the house? So it, was it everything in the house? Was the fridge open? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I think I think the fridge was it wasn't completely wide open, but you could see where it had been pulled open. And every, all the cabinets, even the ones above the sink and stuff, were open. And all the drawers were pulled out. And there was like there were no man, beers. I mean. No beers missing from that fridge. No, I didn't see anything missing. That, those in aliens, they love a beer. No, there was nothing. There was nothing missing. You know, I thought, well, they got the they got the laser because I, the laser was in a gun cabinet that was locked, and, and somehow or another, they even managed to unlock it. They unlocked the gun cabinet, and then when I come back in and seen the gun cabinet unlocked, I was really frustrated because I'd been going on an alien hunt with a golf club. And I had a loaded shotgun in there. And I'm going, man, I could have had a shotgun. You know, here I am chasing aliens in my house with a golf club, and there's a, a shotgun available. The reason I didn't go for the shotgun was because I didn't want to go unlock the cabinet, the gun cabinet. But when, when I came back into the bedroom looking around and closing drawers and cabinets and stuff, I realized that, man, they, they had gotten in there too and unlocked it. So they took so the laser. Easy to grab a shotgun. They took your laser. No. It was there. It was oh. still in the case, exactly where it was at. So, but when they got to the gun cabinet where the laser was being capped, uh, everything stopped. And then all of a sudden, it was like when they released me. This was the weird part. I guess they released me. when they released the force that was holding me in that bed. My body jumped up. I cursed real loud. I grabbed the golf club out of the corner, and I was angry and frustrated as hell, fixing to kill some aliens. Now, this I had tried to do five minutes earlier and couldn't do it. But when they released me, all of a sudden, it was like this got processed in my brain, and my body was like a robot acting without my permission, and it just freaked me out because it was like something I had tried to do earlier, my body was doing it automatically without me wanting to do it. And uh, it was just a weird feeling. You can imagine trying to do something, not being able to do it, and all of a sudden, you, you just do it later, you know? So in the video, you you're in the are you in the attic? No, I'm underneath the house. Well, so was that the I'm next? Underneath the house. Was that the next day? Yeah, that was that was. Uh, I think this was quite a while later. This was. Uh, I didn't have a really. I went in there the next day with a gun, with a loaded gun and a light, and I had a buddy outside backing me up. I said, "Man, I can't live in this place without knowing that there ain't." nested up underneath my house and uh so i i loaded my gun and i crawled up underneath the house and i checked things out to make sure they wasn't underneath there uh because i can't live here peacefully knowing that these things are up underneath there so i had to check everything out and uh, when i got up underneath there and like i said there was a whole claw through my floor that when i came up from work that day the cat when the cat in the house was missing through the hole and I thought that, and I just assumed the cat had 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 made the hole. So I I had to I when I retrieved the cat, I patched the hole up and then went to bed. And uh, and like I said, when I went on the search of the house, 
the the metal tin that I had used to patch a hole, they had pulled it up, man. It was like, and I'm not so sure they hadn't, they didn't make the hole in the first place. But this was heavy 30 year tin that we put on our roofs down here in Texas. It's tough stuff. And I had some screws in it, and they had pulled the screws right out of the wood floor, and the tin was bent where they had pulled it up to get back through the hole. So, and I almost, it ended up at their exit point, and, and, it, and then it made me think that they, they're probably the ones that made the hole. I had blamed it on the cat, but this is a declawed cat. How you would, how a declawed cat could chew a hole through a floor, you know, it's just about impossible. So, I just, I thought it was a cat, but I, after seeing that was their, their escape point, I kind of put two and two together and figured that that's where they, they dug their way in and they escaped the same way. So did you report this one to move on? Uh, no, I didn't. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. And I thought about calling the police, and then I thought, I can't. I can't do it. I call the police over here. They're not going to find any aliens. They're going to yeah, If you call, think I'm under the influence of drugs or something. And Yeah, if you call the police and tell them there's some old men in, in with, with spiky insect right. bodies, then, you know, you, you, you may end up um, in... A straight jacket so no i get i yeah, get why house, you... yeah my house is they probably thought i ransacked my own house i'm on some kind of drugs you know so god only knows where that would have went but i would have loved to call the police and try to get some physical evidence of whatever was running around in my house you know it, it sounds to me though like they didn't want to cause you any harm they just wanted to rob you but didn't I steal anything just, well they were just looking at the laser i think I shot the laser around the UFO. I shot the laser up on their craft, a four-night craft, the night before. And uh, I think, and then all of a sudden the thing, my buddy was with me. So there was two of us that seen it. And I shot the laser on it. And he had a camera and he was supposed to be recording it. And uh, I looked over at him and said, I hope you're getting this on the camera. And he was just standing there gawking at this thing. He had never seen a UFO before. He was just standing there with his mouth open looking at it right and i said dude you're supposed to be recording this and uh we rushed for the camera and the thing just blinked out man like it was never there all four big old lights it's probably stretched 100 yards just blinked out 